Okay, uh, hello and welcome. And today we are going to talk about the Z1 analyzer and how you can load your labs into the analyzer. When you first start the analyzer, it looks like this. Uh, it's blank, there's no data displayed. And what you want to do is click on this folder icon up here, which will show you the select lab dialog. And uh, it's basically three steps. So the first step is you choose your SIM. And I'm going to choose iRacing. And then you choose the car you're interested in. And I'm going to choose uh, Mercedes. And then you choose the track. And I'm going to choose Spa, uh, because I know I have some laps that I've done there, and I want to look at them to see how I did. Now, uh, the options, the first one is load lap. That's what, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do, because I don't have any laps loaded at the moment. Uh, and I want to display all the laps, because I know that the lap I'm trying to load is from a long time ago. So I'm going to go beginning of time. And I'm going to sort these right here, sort by, by fast to slow. So my fast lap here is a 222.2. So I'm going to choose that and click OK. And now that lap gets loaded in, and I get my track map and all the traces for it. Now if I want to overlay another lap onto that, I would go back to the Select Lap dialog by clicking on that folder icon. And everything is already pre-filled in from the previous lap that I had loaded. But instead of loading lap, I'm going to do Load Comparison Lap. Now I'll choose a different lap, and I'll choose a very slow one so that it's obvious uh, what's happening. And then click OK. And now you'll see over here I have two laps loaded in, the 222.2 and the 224.5. And when you look at the traces, you'll see my main uh, colored trace and then the gray one behind it, which is the comparison lap. And this will allow me to see how these laps differ and to determine what I can do to go faster. So that's how you load a lap in the analyzer. And in uh, some future videos, we will show what all these traces are about, what the track map is, how you can manipulate the track map, uh, get more help from the analyzer, and how you can zoom in and out on the various traces. So hopefully this has been useful, and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.